I've been meaning to do this for some time now. I want to take some alligator clips and attach some wire to them so I can uh, help. It can help me uh, do some diagnosis. So I want to give you a little information here. I'm going to uh, the wire that I'm using. The gauge of this wire is. Sorry. Let's try that again. Just going to zero that out. Okay, this wire gauge in inches is uh, 0 0.114 and uh, it's 2.93 millimeters. 2.94 millimeters. Okay? So, I'll give you a better view. Hope you can see it. It's a, little, a lot of glare. That's it in millimeters. And that's it in inches. Inches. And that's it in millimeters. Okay. Now what I'm going to try to do is... Uh, let's see. Attach this to these wire clips. And I got some tools for it. Some channel lock scissors. In a small screwdriver, another like uh, L shaped needle nose and uh, vice grips, some wire cutters, red and black electrical tape. I'm not sure if I'll need everything, but I have everything here so we can do it together. Right, let's get to it. Now, I've never done this before. Um, but I've done some, I've read some stuff on how to best construct this. So the first thing I want to do is uh, just make sure this wire right here is kind of uh, turned over like that. And I'm going to try to use these clips first. Uh, let's do the, what we would use as the ground. Ground is generally like black. so. No, I'm not sure how I'm going to get that back on, right? Because if I put the wire in here, I'm going to have to pass the wire through that. Let's see how that goes. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, so it's possible. At least on one side, I don't know what's going to be like on the other side. I'm going to use this to help me diagnose a BMW's uh, coil. So it's, I thought it would make a good video. Alright, to do this, what is recommended, you could just stuff it in there like that. That's not going to stay when you squeeze it down. So, what you do is go like this. Flip it over like that. This is the proper way to do it. <laughs> I hope it stays. Hope I can get it in. It's... And then you slide it into here like that. And obviously, that's not going to work because it's not thick enough. Right? Alright, let's try this. Let's try these. Mm, same situation. The diameter is I'm not going to uh they're the same size clip, just different type of um insulation on them. Alright, so let's just go ahead and I think I'm going to do this because I can see it already. If I 
place this in like that and squeeze this down, it won't be tight enough. What I think I can do, right, is take a little bit more off of this right here and then double it back on top of itself. You agree? And then I should have something thicker that I can probably squeeze into that space and clamp it down. possible that the wire that I'm using is just too thick. But we don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's it. It's perfect. So now what we want to do is squeeze this down. Good. So we got a good connection right here. I'm a little concerned about those little pieces sticking out right there. So what I want to do is Black electrical tape right here. You know, I got to be careful because when I think about this, it might not be the good idea to do that yet. All right, so you know, let me just get this cut to the distance I want. I think that much is good. Yeah. my pacemaker. Hold on. Hopefully I'll survive. Okay. So that's what we're going to That's the length we're going to use. It's going to peel off some of the, some of this back here. Let's measure it. That's as far as I'm going to go with a flip, and I loop it back over. my uh, 
this side and I have a feeling because of the way this slides on like that I'm gonna have to feed this through first this needs to be like that I can't go in like that because that side's like a little there so I need to feed this side into this like that Some of you are wondering, like, man, that looks dangerous. Guess what? I agree. All right. slides on quite nicely and now we have one side done now what I want to do with the black tape is because um, of those little sharp pieces there at the back I'm gonna I just want to tape this off a little bit because I'm a little concerned that those will eventually poke through create a short. So some black tape right here at the very, very back would be a great addition to keeping this from harming myself or shorting out any project I have. Yeah. That's one side. All right, we're 12 minutes into this. Then we can do the other side in under, tw under 20 minutes, I think so. All right, let's try the uh, other black side here. Because this is a little simpler. It's a good thing I got these two different brands because I don't know, I think two of the other sides would be difficult to get together. So I'm just compressing the ends a little bit more. So that way, I don't know, let me give you a little bit closer view. My field of vision is here, perfect. And I have to stay here, okay. And I need to be here. Okay, great. This is uh, an attempt to like not have those weird YouTube videos where you, you can't see anything. So basically I just frame the shot. Okay, got it. I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is uh, take this now and place this end on it. Oh, that's really awesome. That was too easy. Okay. That's right. Squeeze away. Get a little black tape. Black in general is for ground, so. This will be our grounded side. I 
I do prefer these uh, alligator clips. They're called alligator clips, just so that you know. Um, versus the other ones. Okay. There we go. So that's black. This is a black side. Cool. All right. So we are done the negative. All right. Let's do a positive over here. I know. Did you just see me do this? Is it that exciting? I don't know. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to speed up this part of the video so you don't have to watch me do the same thing twice. Because that's kind of pointless, I think. You know, you saw what I did. But you know, I'll leave it in real time because why not? Right, so you can. I always think I'm going to like speed up the video. But I'm never sure if I'm going. So what I'm doing, I'm just marking it so I can know when I cut right here. Yeah, that's where I'm going to flip it around. Six, 17 minutes into this. Let's see how fast I can get this done. Okay, go like that. Squeeze that down a little. Things are always faster the second time around, you know. It's the fun, it's the fun part of making stuff. You just get faster and faster each time. <laughs> and watch me like it even slower this time. That'd be great. Doesn't look like it wants to bunch up together too, too well. The other side bunched up a lot easier than this side. You can't see anything. That's great. Will that work? Come on. Get in there. You can do it. Yeah, we did it. Perfect. And we don't have anything sticking out in the back. So this is a much better job. Is get that back on. But to do that, we cut it. I want to make sure it matches the length of this. So, somewhere, somewhere. okay, so I need to cut it like right here. If everything goes well, take the red clip here. Oh, get 
out of here. I hate these little things. A red clip. Should be able to slide this in. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now we're in. Squeeze this down. There you go, we have two red sides. Oh no, I forgot to put this on. Oh boy. Is it even worth it? Probably not. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap some red. Uh... Why didn't you tell me, people? You saw me make the mistake. No one even said anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this right here. Just wrap that. You got to see me do as much as possible in frame. It's the worst when you make a video and you're like, and it's in instructional, educational, it's out of frame. You're like, well, nobody saw anything. Okay, so there we go. We got the red sides, right? These are two red sides here. And we have two black sides. Okay. And that should be enough to get us started to like, continue to fix other electrical problems. Great. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you go ahead and comment below, like and subscribe, that'd be great. Definitely uh, subscribe because I'm trying to get my uh, subscriptions high enough. It's really important. It helps me like help you more. So please go ahead and do that. And uh, if this was useful to you, don't forget to share it with your friends. Uh, it was fun doing this stuff. I've been uh, avoiding making these for some time now. And now I have them. So that's it. And uh, enjoy more videos that I produce. And I hope that it helps you help yourself. Great. I'll talk to you later. Now that we have these all cleaned up, uh, I'm going to take the alligator clips that I made and uh, you can, I'll link you to another video to show how to do that. And we're going to test these and uh, we'll see which ones work or not, or if they both work. Um, so what I did, right, I just took my alligator clips and I uh, just connected them to, a, this is a 9 volt battery, uh, that's what that is, 9 volt. You need to see it. Okay. And uh, just kind of clip that on like that. So, with that clipped onto it, uh, we're going to start off with the bottom. Remember, I marked these. This is the top because it's the white. This is the bottom. Thanos. So we have two terminals back here. This thing right here will move up and down if it's good. So I'm going to connect this terminal. Make sure they don't touch because, again, they will short each other out and burn out the circuit. You don't want to do that. And if everything goes well, see if you can watch right here. Uh, this will move. Oops, hold on. This slipped off the battery. If that goes well, this will move. Let's see if you can see it. Again, don't let them touch. See that? Let's see it move? Yeah, can you see that? Alright. One more time. You can hear it too, right? So that, that's functional right there. 